All right, per your guys' request, I got a new pair of Adidas 4D Technology sneakers that I basically posted on uh, Twitter and Instagram. And uh, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see a review of these, and you guys said, yeah, it would be kind of cool to see what they look like in a video. So here we go. This is the 4D Fusio. Fusio? I don't know how to say it. Let's go ahead and get in the video. What is going on guys, Hess here at CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals that I curate for you guys, check the link in the description. It'll take you over to my website, Collective Kicks, and you guys can just basically shop and see what is available on like Nike and Adidas and any sales and codes that may be going on. This pair of sneakers is a new one that came out and I was like, it hey, looks pretty cool. Like it's a little bit out there and uh, I definitely wanted to see what they look like in hand. So the 4D Fusio. <laughs> Fusio? I don't, I'm still not going to get that right. Leave a comment on how to say it phonetically if you guys can do that. But this is the uh, the shoe and I got to say, <laughs> box fart. The images of them are, uh, are pretty crazy. Like they look really wild. And hopefully from a distance in the video you can see the they definitely stand out. They definitely have like a little bit of a wow factor and a little bit of a crazy look to the shoes. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I immediately tried these on because I was just curious to see how they look on feet and feel on feet. And as soon as I tried them on, I realized I got the wrong size. So size 9.5 is my normal. I went up a half a size. Like the ZX 4000s one where I go up usually have size size 10. This though is super long though for a size 10. It just didn't fit right. So keep that in mind for those that are looking for them. Like really, I think true to size would have been the better uh, option. They definitely run a little bit big, at least in my experience. You guys can leave a comment in the comment section if you guys can think otherwise. Anytime you have a knit upper though, most of the time I actually think they're going to be a little small and this time I was wrong. I went again with that size 10 and I'm normally 9.5. So lots of extra wiggle room for me. Definitely got the wrong size, but that's all right. It's still fun to be able to get the shoes and see what uh, we have working with. So the overall look of the shoe is pretty ridiculous. It's just super futuristic -y and they have a lot of different little parts that make you do a double take of like, what, what am I looking at? Like, how did they put some of that stuff together on here? Like the little lace sections for the shoe, it's just like these weird little bendy straws and they have like a little plastic insert. It kind of reminds you of like a kid's toy. They have these little plastic inserts in here and these little uh, rubberized like straw-like pipe things. It's, it's really cool, really crazy. Uh, and um, but yeah, it's a very interesting look to that. And there's four of those and they kind of interwove them like over top of each other on each side. So it just adds a really cool effect to the shoe. But then you get down to the midsole of the shoe and um, that's where they go really nuts. Like they went in a really different direction. It's a 4D technology shoe, but this is the very first one that I've seen where they're kind of masking that 4D technology a little bit. They're hiding it, it's half under the hood. And I was curious about that because I wasn't sure if this was rubberized here and actually this is all the 4D we got. But if you lift it up and look, they actually have a lot of 4D underneath here, and this is just a rubberized like case. It's like a half encasing of that 4D, which is interesting. I don't know why they would have done that other than like it's kind of a fun, different aesthetic. It's just I, I don't know necessarily purpose-wise why they did it. Uh, something I do like though is the fade. So it does go from pink, and then at the very tip up here, you could see it's actually clear. I thought that was kind of cool. But at a different pace, you could see the midsole does a fade too, which I was really curious about as well. I wanted to see it in hand to see how they did it if it was the 40 printed technology that they actually faded and changed the colors or if it was painted. And I can definitely tell when you get them in hand, it was painted. So the back section is this like bright orangish color and then it fades to the front and then you have kind of that standard more or less color. It's like a whitish color. So I, it looks painted as well, but they did definitely have that little fade, which is interesting. I never thought about painting the 40 technology. We just think about changing the dip color because there's black, there's green, there's white but i've never seen something where they they do uh that little bit of a fade which is it's fun it's fun to be able to see that uh and you could see that they painted it again like i said but they get in real deep inside of the, the columns as well uh, so this 40 printed technology for those that didn't know it's actually a lattice design that is created from um, a company called carbon and they actually start with a liquid and they pull the product out of the liquid and hit it with light and it fuses it and blah, blah, blah and turns into this uh, because of the way that they um, are, are using this technology. I don't, I don't really know. It's a 3D printed technology, um, liquid into a solid. And it's really cool to be able to see. Uh, but, um, but yeah, it's like one of those things that the wave has kind of been over in a sense. 
but at the same time i'm still buying more and more of them just because i'm so curious and they don't feel amazingly super crazy comfortable on feet they are a little bit heavier so for those people like boost is kind of heavy the 40 technology is definitely heavier than that uh so there's no like real advantage for comfort and uh, weight on the shoe for having the 4D printed technology. However, aesthetics and just looks and wow factor, that's really what it's all about. And some of you guys can kind of get that. I mean, I like something that looks different. It's fun to be able to, to have something that not everybody else has it in a different sort of sense than a hype beast mentality where you're trying to buy something that's super expensive and turn heads because you know that it's really expensive and other people that know about it know that they're really expensive. This is in a, a different mentality for me with like just getting something different that not everybody has. Not because they can't afford it, just because you have different taste and you like to be able to buy something that's a little bit different and just a little bit out there. And that's the type of stuff that I've been hunting for for, from the beginning, that's really what got me into sneakers as well. I just like to have something a little bit different. Again, not something different is in more expensive, but um, but I think that this delivers that in a really cool way. It's just such a really interesting looking shoe, and I'm wondering if they have other colorways, if it will just be more attractive because this colorway is really bright. There's bright pinks, bright orangish sort of colors, uh, and then black, little bits of white. I mean, it's a really cool looking shoe, but I think that they could probably do some really cool things with some other colorways. One other thing that I like about the shoes, you could see on the, the toe box of the shoe, it actually looks like a heart uh, right here with the different color of knit. I thought that was kind of cool the way they did that. So I don't know necessarily the reason, but I'll look some of that up in a second. But I like the overall look of the upper because it kind of looks like it's almost like patchwork on top of this prime knit because some sections like right in the tongue, it's a little bit different material down here. It's a pinkish color. There's a little bit of white right here. That's kind of an overlay, like a little reflective hit. It looks like right here in the corner. Um, there's more knit around here. And then there's a stretch knit around the, the collar of the shoe. I like that there's a bunch of different textures and layers on it. it sort of reminds you of like a easy uh, 350 in a sense where there's lots of different layers of, of texture and stuff on a lot of those ones as well. Uh, but uh, but I like I like what they ended up doing. The lacing system is really interesting as well because of that weird thing here. But then they actually integrate them through the prime knit as well, so it is kind of easy esque in that way also. And they have tons of different holes, so you could lace these up a bunch of different ways if you chose to uh, as well, which I thought that was kind of cool to see. And keeping with the crazy theme, you can see they have this little rubber back tab uh, puller here, which has a little pink plastic thing inside of it which is a similar vibe to what we saw in the laces. So I like that they kind of tied that theme together. And then you do have a little bit of a heel counter from this little cover that comes around, this plastic rubberized cover that says Adidas on the back of the shoe. For the outsole, it's pretty beefy. You could see right here, and then you get two little pods of, of color on the bottom here. So again, these are kind of heavy, but the rubber is, is definitely significant. So a couple words from Adidas, what they say about the shoe. It says it's a running inspired shoe with a 3D printed midsole. Make sure your perspective is focused on the future. These Adidas 4D Fusio shoes keep you moving towards your goals and comfort and style with a 3D printed Adidas midsole. I always wonder why they call it 4D instead of 3D. It is kind of a, an interesting features adidas prime knit upper as we know the adidas 40 fusio takes surreal 40 comfort engineered support and wraps it with vivid tpu experience the comfort of the 40 midsole supported by a breathable upper and innovative lacing tpu belt wraps around the eye-catching 40 lattice for a silhouette like no other and the retail on these are 200 dollars and again, I would say they fit true to size. I think it's a pretty cool looking shoe. Definitely one that I like the look of. Aesthetically is just really rad. I'd love to see other colorways. To nitpick a little bit, some of the things I didn't like, one of the, the major no-nos for me is this back tab right here. Inside of the shoe, it's just really rough. This is not a shoe that you could wear really with no socks on. Not that you'd be doing that very often anyway, but even thin socks, it's gonna rub right here. I mean, this is, this is really rough. I didn't like that at all. Uh, if you wear thicker socks, you're probably going to be a-okay, but you can see the opening here is pretty narrow, so there's going to be a little bit of stretch and flex in the front, but the back tab also curves inward, so that digs into my heel. Maybe just the way my foot is is uh, built a little bit wider than some and a little thicker ankles maybe, but uh, but yeah, that's something that that is going to bug me a little bit, um, and you just have to prepare for it. Again, you get something like this, you just prepare for it by wearing the right socks and then actually wearing thicker socks would be good because since I got the wrong size, I can fill out the toe box of the shoe with thicker socks as well as not deal with the, the discomfort. Uh, but the only other thing I would complain about is the weight of the shoe. You have pretty good stability and again, this is inspired by a running shoe, but it's a lifestyle casual shoe. Feels really good on feet. It's not amazing earth shattering comfort when you put them on. For me again, I'd go back to the ZX2K Boost. I think that one is really well with the encased boost. 
that that shoe is just one of my favorites the way the comfort is is laid out in that one uh, but this one looks really cool and is a little bit flashy and if you didn't like some of the other 4d options out there it's fun to see a new flashy and fancy version so i think it's cool and i'd like to see uh, again more colorways but that's my thoughts if you guys are interested in buying a pair check the link in the description and you can go over to adidas website and purchase a pair yourself but uh but for those people that wanted to see a video let me know if this was insightful to you guys if you guys uh, like the shoes or not. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching and have a good rest of the day. Uh, hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more videos. Peace guys.